Ding, 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 ding. Just kidding, it's not Je Jenna and Julian. I wish it was Jenna and Julian. But uh, right now, it is Millie. And Lily. And this is Rhyme and No Reason. And we oh are doing a special kind of... Um, special kind of segment uh we are doing a choose your own adventure okay lily what is your history with choose your own adventure we're not going to do a story about it but we're, we're just explaining it before we get into our very own produced choose your own adventure story my favorite mm -hmm. Memory of mm -hmm. doing okay, so I like read the books as a kid. I don't yeah. know if y'all did this too, me too. But there was like book, and they'd be like, "What do you choose?" Like depending on what you choose, like go to page thirty-five, mm -hmm. and you'd open it, and the ending would be there. And I like thought it was the coolest idea ever. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was reading this one about um like you were like I don't know like trapped in the Aztec Empire, and they were gonna sacrifice you, and you had to choose between like going to like three different temples or whatever and I chose the wrong one and they like graphically executed me and it like scarred me for they like sacrificed me to the gods and or whatever, you were and, like, seven years old and, like ripped out my heart I was between the ages of four and eight oh my it was, gosh it was when I lived in Pennsylvania so I would guess like most nice. more like seven or eight because hopefully hopefully I was <laughs> closer to seven or eight but yeah, I was like, oh my gosh. And then like anytime I died, I would like go back and choose something else. Mm -hmm. Like I wouldn't be like, oh, oh yes, yeah, I would like do all the options. Yeah. I didn't discover them until like late middle school. And I was like, what? These are, these are a thing. And they were like so fun to do and everything. And I didn't like buy them, but I read a lot of them in our like library. But um, don't worry, this one is not scarring. It is actually <laughs> enlightening because it is with your favorite guy and your favorite place to be. So um, this it, this was written by me and finished um, literally like a couple minutes ago. But I got to say, it's genius. It is fantastic. A masterpiece. It is beautiful. I'm ready. So you're ready? I'm ready for an adventure. Okay. So this is produced by me, Millie, aka Camille Cromwoody. And it is called... A Night in Flavortown. Yes. Okay. The beginning. It was, uh, it was in the midst of autumn when you had a revelation. And this is me talking to Lily right now. Okay. Okay. It was the midst of autumn the main when character. you had a revelation. While the leaves were falling and the air was getting colder, you were deep in your thoughts. You and your boyfriend are sitting at a small cafe out looking a peaceful park and eating lunch. It's your favorite place to eat. Panera. <laughs> As you guys demolish the bread bowl, si side note, ew, who likes bread bowls? Can y'all <gasps> stop with eating your fad soggy bread and room temp suit? Get out of here. Don't even comment. Okay, no, That's side, other opinion. side note, other side note, bread bowls are the best invention in the history of culinary hi history. I don't think the French <laughs> would be proud. Unless they're created by the French, then now you gotta say that's a step down for French food. Anyways. As you guys demolish the bread bowl, disgusting, you say, wow, babe, this is our two-year anniversary, <laughs> and you choose my fave spot, lol. You're so cute and lovable. Love you, babe. Mwah! He smiles and looks up from his soggy bread pile. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want anything more, babe. Just <laughs> you, bread bowls. <laughs> <laughs> and spending my entire life with you, he gets down on one knee <gasps> and presents a ring that was molded out of the bread <laughs> and a piece of corn from the corn chowder for the diamond. Wow, this can change a lot, you think to yourself. My friends might not think of or might think of me differently. My family might not agree, and my oh. life and possibly whole world can change. Your boyfriend just asked you to marry him. What do you say? Yes or no? I'll say, I'll say yes. Just say yes? Yes. You couldn't believe this day could get any better, but it just did. You say, of course, honey, let him do drop, <laughs> uh, honey, bunny, bun, bun, schmoopy boo, and smush the ring on your finger and do a triple <laughs> backflip into his arms. Yes. Uh, he sprints back home with you in his arms without paying for the meal and lose the cops in a high-speed car slash sprint chase. Ooh. 
At the front door of your apartment, he puts you down and gazes in your eyes. <laughs> but something doesn't feel right. You feel you're moving too quickly. Baby bear boo boo bubble butt, I have something I want to get off my chest. He's confused. His face squints. He goes cross-eyed. Then goes purple. Bab, are you okay? He belches in your face to release the air that he's held this entire time. Bah! Sorry, babe. I was seeing if I could break the world record of holding my breath. Turns out 10 seconds is a long time. What up, babe? You look down feeling ashamed of yourself for even thinking this. I know we've been so great together, but I feel as if one moment we're laughing at a Chuck E. Cheese arcade game for our first date. The next, we're getting married. I just need some time to think and reflect on my decision. He slumps his shoulders, nudges a rock on the ground with his foot, and twiddles his fingers. Then he's still, slowly, gr slowly turns purple. Bam! Listen to me! You shout. He lets out a small... <coughs> Sorry, eating Panera for 57 days straight gets me really gurgly in the tum-tums. But I do see your point. I just want you to know that whatever you decide, I still love you because I'll choose what makes you happy. Uh, yeah, I'll still love you because you'll choose what makes you happy. You give a shy smile. I just need the girl. I just need a girl's night to think through it. I'll be with Helga and Brienne Tanera, and love you too. See you later, tomorrow. He gives a small smile back and disappears into the doorway. <laughs> you literally have no idea. You, you literally have no idea how he did that, but you shrug your shoulders and get an Uber. You settle in the back seat and pull out your phone. There was no girls' night. You open <gasps> Tinder up and look at all of your matches. Oh my god! <laughs> You've been talking to this one guy for a couple of days but uh, because your BF and possible husband has been getting on your nerves. It's not a bad thing to do because you're not actually cheating. You're just talking when you're bored. He's a 10 out of 10, hot-bodied, blonde babe that you can't get out of your mind. Do you message him? Yes, deaf, he's a cutie. Or, nah, go chill at the bar by yourself. No, we have to message him. You have to message him? Yeah, we have to, yes, I want to see what he says. Okay. Also, this is such a plot twist. <laughs> okay. Before you get a chance to say howdy doody, Mr. Booty, he messages <laughs> you. <laughs> he messages you. Hey, salty spittoon, how tough are ya? <laughs> you blush and say, tough enough to go and get drinks and party. He sends you a Dwayne The Rock Johnson winky gif, or gif, whatever you say. And you know you're in. Okay, let's meet at the place we've been dying to go to. You pull up at a pizza hut and the waft of burnt vegetable oil wiggles <laughs> into your nose. <laughs> God. You enter and see that piercing platinum blonde hair waiting for you in a booth. His sunglasses put behind his head makes you think that in every direction he could look into your soul. You knock on the booth table and say, I wish I smelt like this all the time. You say <laughs> flirtatiously. It wasn't him. It was a lady with three inch blood red fingernails. How you doing? She says, sorry, you say back. You walk around looking for him, then hear behind you, Welcome to Flavortown! Guy Fieri is sitting at the biggest booth in the restaurant, and comfortably in a baby booster. Is that my man? That's your man? Yes! He's looking at you like the way he looked at the world's biggest turkey leg. Deliciously. Yo. <laughs> Golly gosh, he drives you mad. <laughs> Howdy doody, Mr. Booty, he say as he sit down. The waiter comes by and his still cracking voice asks, Welcome to Pizza Hut, where no one out pizzas a hut. What would you like to order? Guy's, light, guy's eyes light up. What did you say? Welcome to Pizza Hut, where no one out pizzas a hut. What would Guy put his finger up to his lips? Shh. <laughs> I have to stop you right there, buddy, because I accept your challenge. That's, that's, that's just a slogan. I accept your challenge. His assertiveness makes you wild. Do Ew. you join the challenge? Yes or no? Yes, I join the challenge. I did too, and no one's gonna stop us. Guy chugs his Miller Lite 600 ounce jug and gives you the most ultimate high five. Let's do this! 
the manager walks out with the rules and contracts saying, <laughs> if you die, they don't take responsibility. Sla he, he slaps his signature on that bad boy and the challenge begins. Eat all the pizzas in the restaurant. Get your next medium pizza 30% off and a Walmart deli coupon. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. He ties his bib around his giant neck and yells, <laughs> Bring thine pizzas to my belly! And, and the pizzas followed his order. Like the scene in Beauty and the Beast, the pizzas dance to him and he punches every slice into his mouth. <laughs> oh my god. Cheese and grease cover his mouth and shine his beard to the gods. He was an ultimate force and nothing could stop him. You watch in amazement as he demolishes the challenge and the tables cheer him on. When the pizza stopped coming, he stood up and ran to the other tables. Not enough pizza! His baby chair was still stuck to his butt and he, he waddled around. Tell him to stop or cheer him on. Oh, am I helping him? You're you're on a Tinder date right now with Guy Fieri, so whatever you feel like. How's hmm. the date going for you? I got, I don't know. He, it sounds like he's disturbing customers. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm kind of scared. If I tell him to stop, what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. huh. Just go for it. I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell him to stop, just to see okay, what he'll do. Just to stop? Just okay. a, a test. You laugh a little and say, Hey, baby cakes, I think we won. He ignores you and keeps <gasps> going. Guy! He grasps handful of cheese-covered bread and shovels handful after handful. The children of the families are crying. The Amish family is scared. The police are pulling up in the parking lot. He clumsily goes from table to ta table, clearing anything that's edible and non-edible. The manager points towards his direction, and the police walk in his direction. The police chief says, Hey, you! You there! Get away from those salad bar plates and put your hands in the air! Get involved? Ooh. Yeah, let them know he's a champ. Or, nah, you just gonna watch, you wimp. <gasps> I can't be a wimp. I gotta let him know he's what? the champ. Okay. That's my Tinder date. <laughs> okay. You say, Ha, hey, coppers! You gotta stop him! He's the king of everything and anything made of butter! <laughs> A cop tackles you. <laughs> <laughs> A cop tackles Okay. <laughs> Guy throws well, it was a- worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> Guy throws a mound of hot cheese and hits the chief directly in the face. Oh, no. Shut the hell up! <laughs> Shut up! Or else I'll kick your throat in! Immediately they tase him. And he gets dragged away. <laughs> the commotion becomes calm. And all that is left is you. The traumatized pizza- or traumatized people of Pizza Hut. And the check. Do you- Pay for it or run, girl, run! Oh, run! I have money. <laughs> he thought guy was gonna pay for it. You look at the check and then you look at the cheese glob on the floor. You sprint and slide towards the cheese, pick it up and throw it at the manager's face while yelling Kobe and makes a swift escape back home. Yes. When you arrive from the long night out, you see your boyfriend standing in the doorway. Hey, he says. He's in a robe and having a cup of coffee and orange <laughs> juice smoothie. At my house? At your house. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you hug him and say, it was a wild night, and boy, am I ready to sleep. He chuckles and asks, what did you end up doing? You nervously say, oh, just eat some pizza and talk. Nothing big. What did you do, honey? He pulls back and says, I saw this boat in half! Oh my god. You smile and realize you are so grateful to have him as your boyfriend, and you're ready to have him as your husband. Oh, haha, -ha, honey. I wouldn't want anything more. Let's go to Vegas, baby! You jump in his arms, and he sprints to a happily ever after. The end. That was amazing. Thank you. That was incredible. Thank you. Um, do you want me to read you more options that were like that yes. are quite goofy? Okay. I need. Yeah, I needed. So that's go what back I would always up. do when I would read them. I would like go oh, back yeah. and read all the other options. Like I, I don't know. I did another one about the Titanic, and I kept mm. dying. There was like Gosh. one ending where you survived, like you didn't <laughs> drown or freeze to death or whatever, wow. and then like all the rest you would die. And it took me so long to get to the last one. 
Hmm. I have like bad judgment. Nice. Because like anytime I did them, it would take me so many tries to like to survive. <laughs> So I feel like if anything ever happened to me in real life, I would just, like, instantly die. Yeah, we're dying already. Okay, so the first option was saying yes or no to your boyfriend. And so... Oh, yeah, I say no. Okay, Rejected you proposal. said no. All right. You look at the ring, stand up, and smack the ring silly out of his hand. Bad, you can't just ask me in public so we can get attention. A little old lady appears behind you. Excuse me, miss. I just need to get by. Bam! You slap her silly <laughs> into a six-stop table. It's like the Captain Marvel trailer when she slapped that old lady. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> okay. um, bam! You slap her silly into a six-stop table with an Amish family. I said I don't want attention. A cop in mid-bite sees the altercation, approaches you, and says, Now, missy, you have to calm down or else I will arrest. Bam! You slap that. Or you throat chop him into the heavens and yell, I don't want pictures, MJ, you think I'm such an intention hog, but really I'm introverted for a guy who just wants to nestle down and be comfy and drink tea alone. Oh my gosh. Police sirens wail in the background and your beefet, your boyfriend, yep, your boyfriend says, time to go. He sprints back home with you in his arms without paying for the meal and lose the cops in a high speed car slash sprint chase. And then it goes into um, you saying, like, I need to think about things. So, Ooh. Okay. And it's basically the same text as the um, first one. Yeah. And then, all right. And then the second option, or the second choice, is uh, messaging Guy Fieri. Oh, yeah, no. You're just, like, I'm just nah. going to go chill at the bar by Should myself. Bar by okay. Um, you put your phone down and focus on how many shots you'll have until you woohoo and passed out. Trashed! Before you even count to 72, he messages you. Hey, Salty Before Spittoon. Before you even count to 72. <laughs> hey, Salty Spittoon, how tough are you? You look at your phone and think, man, this is going to be a regret. But oh well, we all make them. Blushing, you say, tough enough to go and get some drinks and party. He sends you a Dwayne the Rock Johnson winking gif, gif, and you know you're in. Okay, let's meet at the place we've been dying to go to. You both end up at Pizza Hut. Boom. Romantic. All right. And then third choice was, um, are you going to join him on the challenge for eating all the pizza in the restaurant, or are you just going to sit by and watch? I gotta sit by, just sit by and watch. I'm on a diet. Nice. You, uh, you just order a slice of vegan salad pizza and watch this majestic beast of a man fist pump the air in his baby chair. Boom. Guy chugs his Miller Lite 600 ounce jug and gives you the most ultimate high five. Let's do this! And then, yeah, that was that option. And then the other option is tell him to stop or cheer him on. And you will cheer him on now. And you say, that's my guy! Drive in and dive into those meat lovers' dishes, you yell. All right, so the next option is um, when the cops come in. And they're like, yo, put your hand in the air. And so are you going to get involved? Or are you going to uh, let them know that you're a wimp and not do anything? You're just going to watch. What happens if I'm a wimp? You watch this and think, wow, this is kind of getting out of hand. And then it goes to uh, guys throw a mound of hot cheese and hits the cheek directly in the face. Shut the hell up! Shut up or else I'll kick your throat in! And immediately they taste him. And he gets dragged away. (laughs) Immediately tased. Immediately tased. And then the other one is you pay for it or run and so when you pay for it you just say uh you pay and say sorry mate i gotta go and then you end up back at your lovely abode you got a happily ever after yeah you get a happily ever after no matter what this wow. we can we can do more endings later but That's true. yeah that went a lot well than the last one i did when i mm-hmm. got sacrificed to the aztec gods yeah 
And there so, was there was one where um it was like I got kidnapped on an airplane or and I was like it's like I knew some how information you get kidnapped on an airplane? and well, okay, so basically these guys showed up at the airport, and they're like, hey, you have to come with me so you can be safe, and, like, oh, so you won't I get your it. information. So you don't know if it's the people that are actually protecting you or the people that want the information. So you're Ooh. like, um, do I go with them? Do I not? And so, if uh, like, at one option, I went with them, and, like, uh, they changed my seat so I would sit next to them. And then somehow they snuck a gun on to the airplane and they're like, you're with us now. Don't even say anything. And uh, then you're kind of stuck with them. And they were like, they would be like, oh, yeah, we will shoot you if you like don't give us this information or if you like go crazy and tell everything. And so it, it was like a lot of options and it took like so many turns. It was like one ended up like with you in a mansion, another one with you like of course dead and then another one with you in like an abandoned log cabin and i was like wow 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 that's a lot of places to go <laughs> like that's it wasn't impressive. like yeah it was a really good book but i like those ones and um jenna julian podcast they did one and it was really funny they also did a guy fury one so they kind of inspired me but um it was like really really good because they went into like way different paths and everything so it was it was wild it was really wild i love it i love choose your own adventure mm-hmm. Ooh, flute. Flute. <laughs> but yeah that was our um story and Honestly, if you guys want to suggest a story, like, get in contact with us. Like, go through SU Radio on Instagram. It's literally SU underscore radio. Or, um, like, snap me if you have my Snapchat or, like, on Instagram. Literally contact any of us. Like, send us. If y'all have your own Choose Your Own Adventure that you oh my want gosh, us to yes, do. Please. Or, like, a challenge or something like that. Yeah. Or, like, a do topic. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll do this. Because it was really fun to write. And it was really fun to, like, also say it out loud. Because, like, I imagined it everything and like I placed everything and like it it, it it was basically like a movie yeah it so. was a good time oh how imagination works <laughs> so send in if y'all have ideas mm-hmm. or choose your own adventure mm-hmm. things send them in we'll actually do them yeah and also if you have any questions comments concerns or complaints we don't care about your complaints but everything else <laughs> Um, we'll try to answer you back if you try to contact us. Or literally, just literally, like, if you see us walk into class, be like, hey, I have an idea. Be quick with it. We got, we got to go and everything. But, like, pitch us your idea. We say yay or nay or slap you in the face. Um, but, yeah, um, we're open to literally any ideas. Uh, thank you for tuning in. This was Rhyme and No Reason with Millie. And Lily. Thank you for listening. And... Goodbye.